Good day, my friends. Furnace. So, I'm done cleaning the carburetor on this uh, Homolite 1020, XP 1020, and I'm going to just start doing a reassembly of the entire saw. Cool, huh? So, there's a couple of things I want to do with this carburetor. I've inserted this rubber suction for the for the uh, vacuum intake. These are the uh, reed valves. Now there's a hole down here. You see, whoop, you see that hole? And there's a hole right here. So we are going to need to insert, and there's, it even says up. There we are. Okay, my first time doing this. I'm going to pull this out about an inch. There's kind of a mark on the tube. Oop, that's more than an inch. Isn't that how things go away? Eh? Right there. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the carburetor gas intake. Good. And at the same time, we're going to lay this in here. And that hole has to line up with that hole. And this actually says, for us dummies, it says up. Now, I'm just going to locate this guy, oh, temporary, or maybe permanently, here and here. And then this. mounts onto the intake of the carburetor from the crankcase. And at the same time we have to connect the throttle up with a Z bend. There we go. If you're watching, I'm sure you're laughing, Leo. There we go. Okay. Maybe that's the last time that'll have to go on there, except for one small problem. It all goes on at the same time, guys. This is the deflector for the choke. I knew that I was going to scratch up the paint job on this guy when I put it together, but that's all right. We can touch that up. This has to all nestle in here happy. And then we've got reed valve, or we've got, uh, sorry, reed valves, we've got uh, the idle control circuit. A little closed for now. I give me just that little tiny bit of extra room, maybe, maybe. Good. Okay. Good. And then the skinny one goes in the back. There's two different. There's two different ones here. This is the skinny one, this is the fat one. The fat one is the L. Bolts back in. And this is the H. There's a 
a big start, you guys. But everything happens at the same time. You'll see exactly what's what's going on with the uh, fuel tank in just a shake. Imagine at the factory you'd have it down pat, wouldn't you? I'm taking these out because I gotta get the uh, Little tiny Z bin on the throttle end now. If I can do that, I don't know. There it is. Okay. This goes into the tank. And this is the whole secret right here, you guys. And before we install this tank, we're going to actually make our own line. Same inside diameter. Almost. Good. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Except I'm scratching my beautiful paint job. And most of it's going to be hidden. Okay, I got the, I got the filter clean. I took the... Uh, I think this was the original fuel line. And I'm just going to test something here. Whenever I do something like this, I add a quarter of an inch. Oh, use your brain, Bruce. Use the force. This is Tygon fuel. I didn't like the look of this one. I think that's as far as it went on. Now we're going to grab a little bit. See what I'm doing here? I'm adding this fitting. It's turning. I just hope that line's long enough. Well, we can fish it back out again. A little tiny bit of oil. Good. Okay, that's going in there. flashlight or something or this where is it it's right in the bottom okay that's perfect so now we have this end as our issue but this is already sticking out of here so we can just push we can push uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we can push that onto there when we assemble the rest of the when we assemble the rest of the uh, chainsaw Good. And I think that's enough for today. So next time we put the whole unit on here, like that. We take the gas tank, we line the gas line up with this rubber line going to the carburetor, and we Squiggle it on. And our chainsaw is three quarters built already. So thank you. 
I have always told you guys, I'll be honest with you. So I've got all of this beautiful thing built here, and it just, it's just going to fit onto there nicely like that. <laughs> but there's one screw back in there. I got a little light or something I can show you. Right? I think you can see it. It's right back there on the floor. One, okay, one, two, three, four, and it's underneath right where all of the hosing and everything is. So hopefully I can slip that in there when I build it. <laughs> That's the challenges, and if that kind of stuff bothers you, you better not be in this business. Thanks. All right, sometimes we have to make a step backwards. I'm taking out the jets. That's right, this one's backwards. if I can get it out of there. I think I can mount that. Okay, we're almost there guys. I, I had to find some screws. This, this tube that goes into the carburetor that I've done once already has to go onto this suction line right there. So, pardon me, I'm going to cover things up, swear and curse and cuss. Come on. Everything happens at once. I don't know how they did it at the factory. But there's some old humble technician laughing at me right now. Ugh, okay. Is it on? Not quite. Oh, it is. Just gonna squish it on a little more. Good. I was fighting against myself. That's never happened before, eh? Okay, so now we should be able to line up those four screws on the body along with that. That's connected. Let's do it. <clears throat> Brand new 1224 screws, too. Yeah, you guys are getting a good, fairly good look at it. And the last one this is the hardest one, as always, right? Oh, yeah. Am I still on? Yes. Ooh, I'm going to use a regular screwdriver to tighten that guy up. Five sixteenths a wrench. I'll have one in here. Once again, thank you, Dennis. Five sixteenths. Right on. Get a bigger screwdriver and just give her a little twist. Good. Not right around the rest. Okay. 
Good. I'm not using anything electric to put this together. Oh, rats. Oh, it's jamming on there. Why? Oh, shoot. Well, let's loosen it off and find out why. I thought I had it. What a hard thing to work on, guys. I think I bent the plunger. Can I cuss now? Shouldn't be broken. Good. I think I got her. Need a little light. Yep, she's squeezing. Okay, so the whole thing is I couldn't put the I couldn't put the uh, oil pressure on onto the uh, chain oil. <coughs> okay, now I got a couple of things. I just want to start again. That's on there. And is that still on there? Yes, it is, baby. Okay. I think we can tighten this up now. I don't know how much of this I'm going to include. But this back bolt, right? in there where my where my finger is get a little light in there right in there that's the one that's causing me all the grief right because you have to get it tight before you get the rest of the carburetor down but you have to have all the tubing in okay Good, 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 good. Okay, let's tighten her up. <laughs> no wrench. We're back to where we were. So yes. You can get a little frustrated, but you don't want to lose it, right? Because if you lose it, you end up throwing the chainsaw across the yard. Okay, good. Did I say that?
Holy. I think I'm there. Yes, I got oil. Okay. Are you guys watching any of this? Yes, you're getting some of it, aren't you? Oh, no. Strip freaking bolt on the left carburetor retainer. You gotta be kidding me. Pull that thread in there instead. <clears throat> what is that, 7 16 Maybe that's the, what's supposed to be in there. Yep, that's the ones. guys this is the two saws this is the donor saw uh, this is where the carburetor screws down this carburetor was held down by two 12 by 24 screws or basically screws they're small enough to be called a screw and this carburetor on the main saw is held down by a quarter inch bolt quarter by 20 I think they are so I just thought I'd throw that in there because it was causing some confusion for me and you bye Okay, fat versus skinny. One, two, three. This is only the twelfth time I've done this. And I still don't have the tank on yet, eh? Okay, where's the spring? Okay, I'll find the spring and we'll get this last one in. It will be found. Thank you guys. Okay, I think the tough part's done. This tube here takes vacuum from that, sorry, from that brass tube from in the crankcase. And that's how I tested it for crank seals as well. I was tough. I did miss the little tiny little gasket that goes between the carburetor and the reeds. And these two bolts were bigger. I, I got a smaller one to thread in there. Hang on. Right? Like that. But these ones did fit. They're one size up on the thread. These are a 1224. So those fit and they hold down really, really well. These are two new ones, uh, and now I've got the hose ready to go onto the tank. Sorry, I'm moving around. And this is going to be an easy fit. You see that going right onto the hose right there? The, right, right there, that shiny, this? That'll just squish right in there, no problem. And then the tank just pushes up. So that's the beautiful thing about that one piece is that it comes out and the other side of it holds the uh, smaller intake filter and hose. So we're there, Matt. And then we just have to get points and spark and chain and gas and fire and adjustments. There's nothing left. 